I mean, this is an esteemed French director. He's new wave, like French, French new French wave, Hitchcock. great. Nouvelle vague. Yeah. <laughs> is that, is that As new they French say in, in, in French French. That's French French. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I go in, I have no idea who I'm meeting. And uh, there was there was a uh, producer and yeah. she closed her role. And we're t- we, we start talking mm-hmm. and I tell him I can speak French and he, he doesn't really pay attention. Doesn't and, care, okay. And does it, or he, I don't know, maybe he, they're used to actors lying because they all yeah. say, yes, I can write a I can write a do trapeze. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the interview, he turns to the producer and he says, in French, I, I think this is the best girl we've seen. And I'm thinking, I just told him this. <laughs> and he's telling her that I'm the best one they've seen. Wow. wow. So then he turns back to me and he says to me in English, you're the best one we've seen. <laughs> 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 and he said, but, he goes, i, I got to talk to the producers, but you'll know in a couple days. So, okay, fine. And I said, but don't you want me to read? Yeah. And you see, established great directors, that, or more, I, I should say, European directors, they... they they don't make you read. They just meet with you. They know you can act. They get a feeling about you. And the thing about America, what I've noticed is they, they read you into the ground. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like so many callbacks and, they, they, and, 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 and shoots and it goes on forever. And these other guys, they just meet you and they know. Mm-hmm. They go with your instincts. And so uh, he said, want to read? Picks up the script, hands it to me, goes, read. So I opened it up yeah. and I opened up to a page where it's a voiceover. Mm-hmm. It's a voiceover. Yeah. And I read the voiceover and he goes, Okay. <laughs> and, and, and 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 it was the day before it was the days before remember when they didn't have answering machines? Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, actually, yes. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. Oh yes, yes. You you had to you tell people I'm gonna be there at a certain time. Yeah. So I went. My parents were divorced. I went up to see my dad, and there was something that was telling me I better, I better get back. And he was like living about, about 200 miles away from mm-hmm. where I live with my mom. And I, I said, you know, I'm getting out of shape. I gotta get dad. I gotta get back to my dance class. And I came home. It was like eight o'clock in the morning. And the phone was ringing, uh-huh. and I picked it up, and it was my agent. He goes, Where have you been? He said, They want you in Montreal today to shoot this movie. <gasps> wow. And what today. had happened is, um, they closed your role. Like they, they, the producers wanted a name, and so Claude Chabrol or Claude Chabrol, ah, mm, he wanted French. Jodie Foster. Oh. He always wanted to work. With her. I always wanted oh. to be Jodie Foster. <laughs> Jodie Foster. I always no. wanted to be Jodie Foster. Yeah. And then, and she was doing another French film, Moi Fleur Bleu. And so then he also wanted Sissy Spacek, which you know he had great taste. Yeah, yeah. And she said she turned it down. She said, No, I'm too old. Ooh. So then there was me. Oh. So they, I got flown in that day, got put in wardrobe. My first scene is this kissing scene with the most amazing looking actor I've seen in my life. You know those French guys? <laughs> tower. And I couldn't do it. <laughs> I was in this movie and, and I, did, I shot three scenes without even ha- having read the script. Wow. So anyway, it, it changed my life uh, in, in that not only did he cast me in that movie, then he cast me in a second movie. Wait, 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 wait was that the first movie? Was the first Blood, film was called Blood Relatives. Blood Relatives. It was his first English language film. And you got killed in there. Right? And I got killed, and it was a flashback on what is my the, life. What is, could you give us kind of like the basic plot of that? Well, they, they, he wanted to kind of do like Clute. Mm-hmm. And the right, plot, right. you know, all, all Clute Chabrol movies deal with incest, as you know. Mm-hmm. He was fascinated with that. Wow. And it's about uh, me <laughs> and uh, my murder. And it was, uh, my co- I had an affair with my cousin, and his sister murdered me because she was jealous because she was into her brother. And, uh, wow, twisted. Yeah, twisted. Yeah, yeah. And twisted. When I look back at it, I, 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 I see in one way that I look like a young, um, you know, like, a, what was his wife's name? I can't believe I forgot. Stéphane Audran. Oh. Stéphane. And I, I can see how I appealed to him. And um, yeah. I, I did have this natural instinct that was, was really wonderful. But one of the really great things I, I, I remember about Claude Chabrol, and I think about it every time when it comes out on at 9 a.m. in the morning, is... He was just fascinated by American television. Because mm-hmm. imagine this was a time, 1977, where, they, where, where, where we didn't have, like the rest of the world didn't have access to American television like we do now. Right. And he was fascinated with American television and the game shows. Yeah. 
So he, <laughs> he, he come on he come on the set and say, a new car. <laughs> and, because they're giving away these huge, like they, you know, in France yeah. they wouldn't have game shows. Nobody would act ridiculously like they do. You're just, you know, oh, in strange. reality shows, oh, they, you know, they, I they, never they, watched them. They were French French, and they wouldn't yeah. act Time to play. like they Leave a tip. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so he was just fascinated by watching, and, and he was also fascinated by American uh, like rag magazines, like. You know, this is before like, people... Like tabloids? Yeah, yeah. Like he, he'd, he'd be reading those. Yeah. You know, on the set. Like <laughs> it's, he's waiting, it's waiting, waiting for the stuff. lighting. Yeah. He'd waiting. be horrified now, though. Yeah. yeah. Horrified is word. Yeah, no, yeah. he's... He, yeah. And uh, he just... Um, that's when he spent his time doing yeah. waiting for the lighting. He'd be looking at, like, American, you know, rag magazines. Remember, like, was it Movie Mirror? Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah that all the women, like that. They, they were in the hair salons, the women's hair salons. Yeah, James, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I don't know if you've noticed, how nice is hair? Exactly, exactly. It takes hours to get the James kind of stuff. Yeah, and they would have the boxes over the eyes. And then also remember like Tiger Beach? Like, oh, so yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I was on the cover. So it was... Really, it, you know, it was just fun watching his um, perception of America. Yeah, so this, I just, I just want to cast yeah. it to you. I mean, Donald Sutherland, yeah. David Hemmings. You had a lot of scenes with David you know, Hemmings. David yeah. Hemmings was the first older man I had a crush on. Wow. Oh, wow. I have a crush on him now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know he was gay. Oh, oh, did, did you know that? I did not know that. Uh-huh. So I had a shot, is what you're saying. <laughs> I, I don't know. No, nobody seems to know that he's gay. Like, my manager, it's his, like, favorite movie. And I had to tell him, like, you know, yep. Blow Up was his fa- favorite. Right. Everybody's yeah, favorite. That, that movie and he didn't know he's yeah. gay either. So I had such a crush on him. And we hung out all the time. Like, you know, we would go to the Ritz, Ritz Carlton for lunch. And I, I just... I, I couldn't believe this guy. He was such a gentleman and so good looking and, 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 and such a, you know, he had that English English thing going on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> well, the gay gay thing, too. Yeah. <laughs> but, did but, he have to tell you? I mean, was there a moment where he had to say, hey, listen, yeah. I don't go that way? Did you? No, yeah. the, the moment is when you're a woman, like eventually any guy you hang out with, the sh- shoe drops. Mm. <laughs> and okay. that never happened with him. It was mm. like totally. Wow. Uh, I never felt threat. Not threatened is wrong. Where I never felt any kind of innuendo ever, mm. ever, ever, ever. And my mother came down to visit actually the set once, and um, we were rehearsing a scene, and she didn't know. And it was kind of in the movie of like a romantic scene where he's like playing with my my necklace, and she yeah. finally she was walking back and forth, and she finally turned to him and she said, "What's going on here?" <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, he it was a it like you know Closure Girl has such great taste in actors. I mean Donald Pleasant. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Well, we, yeah. 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 We love. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but did you did you do a scene with it? I, no, I don't know. no. And all, all I I you know people like in all the bios it said I had my first movie starring opposite Donald Sutherland. He, I, it was about me. Because it's a flashback, really. I had no really. scene right. with him. He's looking but into that's, your murder. That's, right. that's the spin. Mm-mm. But I'll never forget, uh, after, like, Donald used to go to, what they called in Canada, they called them um, the Russias in, in, in America, in real America, America. Um, they call it the dailies, <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but they're called the Russias. Which makes more sense, really, because you rushed to get it. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes you are. Before digital. Mm-hmm. Okay? True. So, so... Everybody came up to me and said, Donald says you're really good. And <laughs> now when I watch the film, I'm thinking, what was he thinking? Oh. Uh, you know, because I, the second film, Violette, I think I'm really good at it. Uh, it's another Chabrol film, right? Yeah, he cast me in a French French movie. So this is the same right. guy who likes the incest coach. stuff. He's yes, the French guy. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure it's the French guy. No, 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 no. There's another incest story in here. It's, oh. it's, like, it's like the Lizzie Borden oh. case of France. Drink. And it's a true, yeah, I'm going to have another second. Okay. It, and it's a true story. It's like the Lizzie Borden of France. And wow. I didn't know I'm starring opposite the Meryl Streep of France. Ooh. And yeah, Isabelle Huppert. Oh, oh, wow. And yes. again, Stéphane Audran was in the movie, and mm-hmm. I found out that it was like kind of his alimony deal with her. <gasps> that, you know, he <laughs> doesn't have to pay alimony, but will put her in all of his films. Mm, really? really? You heard it here first, yeah. folks. Wow. Wow. Monster party. My, try to get that deal. No, no, my ex husband. <laughs> no, no, no. I tried to make this deal with my ex husband. He's this brilliant sound editor and ADR supervisor who has looked like the best of the best mm-hmm. and I tried to make that deal with him so yeah. like, you don't have to pay me anything just 
have me, you know, revoice with some of these big stars. <laughs> right. Yeah. right. Somehow, not the same culture. Yeah. I, I think this show is going to turn it all around. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay.